Hey everybody, SLP Mom back again with another Dia and Co box. At the rate I'm getting these, I'm going to be going broke, so let's just dig in while I can still afford them. So this one is completely new to me and I'm very excited to see what I got. I feel like it's Christmas. It's so much fun. And for those of you who ordered a Dia and Co box, Mine come really fast, so I hope you'll be getting yours soon, and you can leave in the comments below how you like the clothes they sent to you. Remember, if you use my link, you get your first box without a styling fee charged to you. So all you'll have to do is look at the clothes and decide if you want to keep them. No cost to you if you don't, because there's a free shipping envelope in every one. All right. I'm not sure what order I should do this in clothes or a little hint. So I'm probably going to go with a little hint. So it comes with a nice letter that says um, they're happy they got my feedback and it goes through the items that are in here and some styling ideas, which I'll look at in detail later. And then I can see they sent a necklace, a top, a skirt, a maxi, and a kimono. All right, let's try it out taking out the package of clothes. I so far see a lot of gray and navy, which I wear, so let's see. Okay, on top we have a floral piece. So this might be the kimono that I just saw on the list. Looks like it is. Oh, this is pretty. This is a kimono jacket by Mary Sky, M E R I Sky. And it's purple, sheer fabric, and very lightweight. This is gorgeous. I'm going to go try it on. So here it is on. I really like it. This is a pretty style for me with the flowy arms and it's very lightweight. So if I was wearing a solid color outfit or something like this, that's pretty neutral, I think it would work. Let me turn so you can see the length on me. I am 5'7". The only thing, and I don't know if it's supposed to close or not, is that it doesn't close on me. It doesn't look like it's supposed to, but I'm not sure. I haven't had one of these style jackets before. If you know, please comment below because that will help me out a lot to decide whether I want to keep it. All right, so let's go see what the next item is. Okay. Next up is a V-neck top t-shirt. V-neck t-shirt very soft and flowy. This is from the brand Collection by Babo, B-O-B-E-A-U. And this should pretty much go with everything. So I'll go try this on and be right back. So I can't find the fabric content, but it feels like it's at least a partially cotton tea and it is so super soft and thin. I think it's fairly flattering, although it does hug me in the middle a little bit. But I'm curious to see what it might look like on with this top, kimono jacket, and whether this might be a possibility as well. Okay, the third item I see is this navy and gray striped piece. Looks like a maxi skirt. Oh, this is nice. I like the change in direction of the stripes. That can be very camouflaging for problems with the figure. This is by Dex, D-E-X. And I don't know why I'm having trouble finding what these pieces are actually made of, which would confuse me if I had to go wash them right now too, so. Trying to see if there's one, a tag hiding in the seams. You know how they do that sometimes. Don't see it offhand, but I'm gonna go try it on and I'll let you know if I found out. So 
So I actually found the tag hidden in one of the seams and it turns out the skirt is made of a combination of polyester, viscose, and spandex and it falls amazingly. It has just enough weight to feel like it's not going to kick up in the wind and I love how super slim it feels. It just doesn't hug your bulges or anything like that and I have the feeling it would pack without wrinkling. Let me show you the back because I think it hits me exactly where I'd like it to for a maxi skirt. Remember I'm 5'7", so if you have this skirt or want to purchase this skirt, keep that in mind. I do have it paired with the shirt I was just looking at from the box. Um, I like the colors together, obviously, but I don't really like this shirt with it because I feel like the way this one falls, it emphasizes belly bulges, and I think a slightly shorter top would camouflage that better. So to me, they're not going to work together, but they're both beautiful pieces on their own. Let's see what's next. Oh, wow. Okay, today we have a shiny necklace. Let's see what it looks like. It's very shiny. It reminds me of rhinestones and such. It's short, so I will have to open it. It has a lobster claw clasp and a three inch extender. Okay, this is from and Co. So I get the feeling they make some of their own jewelry pieces. So let me just put this on with what I'm wearing and we could can see how that looks. Okay, so here's the necklace and it is very vibrant. Um, I think it is a good length for me for a shorter necklace. Um, but I'd like to measure for you how long the entire thing is in case the neck size is a worry for you. All right, so have the really most heavy duty <laughs> tape measure, but it'll do the job. So from, it's 17 inches and then a three inch extender as I said. Okay, the other thing I want to point out about this necklace is that each of these pieces is linked separately. So if you have a tendency for necklaces to flip around, uh, you might be, you might want to be aware of that. Okay, now we're down to the fifth piece. Let's see what this is. This looks like another navy blue piece. It is a dress. And it looks like it might be a midi length. Or maybe maxi. I'll have to try it on to see. And it has um, off the shoulder detailing. Like that last piece, I didn't like the coral one. <laughs> but we'll try it on and see. I'll have to figure it all out. But it definitely has a flounce in the front. All right. I'll go check it out and I'll be back. All right, let's get down to prices and decisions. So first off, we have the poppy necklace, which was super blingy and very cute. Uh, it just doesn't suit anything I need right now. If I was getting ready for a cocktail event, I might grab this. Um, it's considered a gold tone color and it is $30. I will not be getting this. I will be returning it. All right. Okay, next up is this beautiful V-neck t-shirt and it's by B Curvy, a collection by Bobo. I think I said Bobo before, but it's B-O-B-E-A-U and they specifically say in one of their hang tags that it's Bobo. That's how it's pronounced. So I love this shirt and I love the split seam down the front and the back it's slimming but for me it's just a little too long and grabs in the tummy and it is $45 so I'm not going to be getting it because I can get some other v-neck t-shirts that will uh, fit me better but it's a shame I do think I would like this a lot next up 
the maxi skirt. I love this. I'm keeping it. I was toying with not keeping it because I had just ordered something similar that was also navy blue but with a chevron pattern and I thought, you know, should I keep this one if they're too similar? But I just tried the other one on and it's nowhere near as flattering or beautiful as this one. This one I do not think will wrinkle and it has a better length. The other one's too short. It's not even all the way to the top of my foot. Turns out I hadn't taken the tags off that one, so it's going back. I'm keeping this one, which is the Orleans Maxi Skirt from Dex Plus. It's a winner, $49 keeping. All right, now we have the One Shoulder Maxi Dress from B Curvy, which is a Bobo company. And again, let me remind you, it has this asymmetrical top, elasticized waist, full maxi skirt. Um, I don't like the off the shoulder style, otherwise it was very flattering, has a great weight, I love everything about it except that single shoulder top. It is $59 and it will be going back. Okay, finally we have the Julie Floral Kimono in this. I called it purple earlier, but I guess it's more of a magenta pink. Uh, with a gray scale floral. Very Asian inspired. Um, it's from Merry Sky and it retails for $39. I'm really torn on this one. I love everything about it. I want a kimono style jacket. I think it'd be great to like amp up outfits or to just add some casual cool or even just to wear on a cool evening to cover my, my arms. But I'm not sure if this is the one that I should be keeping because it doesn't close. Now I'm looking at how narrow um, it is from the seam to the front here and I'm thinking maybe it's not supposed to close and if that's the case and I'm wearing it properly with it not closing, I want it. But if it's supposed to close, I don't want it. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to research and see if I can find pictures of it online and if it looks like wearing it open is what people are doing, then I'm gonna keep it. So let's assume I'm keeping that one. All right, let's walk through the prices. So if I was purchasing everything in the box, my merchandise total would have been $222. They would take the styling fee away as credit and give me 25% off, which in this case would be 55.50. So the entire box would be 146.50, which seems like a great deal to me for all these pieces. But I'm only interested in keeping the skirt and the kimono. So that's 49 and 39, which is $88. And then they'll subtract the $20 styling credit. So it'll be $68. Um, and also one of my great viewers has subscribed and is trying out a box, which I'll tell you how to do in a minute. And because of that, I got an additional $20 off. So for everything, I should be paying approximately $48 um, for both pieces. So I'm very excited about that. And I continue to think that Dia & Co. is a great way for me to stretch beyond the bounds of what I would normally try. They just missed with a couple of pieces. And, um, you know, I think everything was completely suitable but just a couple of things didn't work for me okay so if you want to get your own dia and co box with the deal that i told you before that one of my viewers got all you'll have to do is use the link below in the description box and you'll get your first styling box from dia and co styled for free and that way you'll just decide whether you like the things or not and send them back so it's as easy as this i'm literally going to close this up and place it into the prepaid shipping included D and Co envelope and drop it in my mailbox. Super simple. Thank you again for being here. I hope you'll like the video, comment below on what else you'd like to see me do. And also please note that our schedule for uploading videos is currently Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, late afternoons to evenings. And we really appreciate you being here. Like, and subscribe. Thank you.